Hi, this is Roger from Kanker Labs. Today with a look inside a modern DAB Plus radio. Now, if you are located in the United States, you probably won't know what DAB Plus is all about. It's the successor of FM radio here in Europe and parts of Eastern Asia. I think in the US there are different uh, digital radio standards like I think it's H FM HD radio and satellite radio. But here in Europe uh, for more than 20 years they are trying to convince us that uh, this DAB or nowadays DAB plus is the better alternative to analog FM radio. And the prices have come down to something like between 20 and 30 euros uh, for these quite universal devices. Um, because I'm located here in the basement, I have absolutely no reception for DAB+, Plus, which is one of the disadvantages. I do get uh, even a few FM stations uh, still here, but I've um, turned on my FM test radio uh, or as it is called high quality stereo FM standard signal generator and um, you can see um, in, in the FM which is in Germany called UKW reception uh, we get also the station info and uh, it can also decode radio text although I don't have turned that on here at the moment Uh, but what inter interested me was um, what's inside a modern FM DAB plus universal uh, receiver. By the way, this is uh, from a no-name brand called, uh, what's it, Terris. I will uh, give you the des designation uh, down below in the comments. And uh, so let's crack this little radio open and take a look at what's inside. And what I've forgotten is to mention it also does have uh, a Bluetooth module inside so that you can play your music over Bluetooth connection. And it has a lithium ion rechargeable uh, battery so it can be powered either over USB or for a few hours over the, the lithium ion. And uh, that's all, a highly integrated PCB. So I could identify most of the chips and it's astonishing with how few chips you can build such a complex device today. Here on the top left we have a Beacon BK3265. That is the complete Bluetooth receiver, including all the audio circuitry. So at the output you get um, digital or analog audio, just for playing music over this, uh, this radio from outside. And this is the main RF front end. I've taken out the, the metal can or desoldered the metal can Uh, with which this is usually shielded. Um, at the center is a Silicon Labs SI4684 and this is the main uh, receiver for the FM, DAB and DAB Plus and it does all the wizardry to receive uh, digital and analog FM radio. And this is the central controller. I couldn't identify this. I only could read that the, the manufacturer seems to be a company called DX Chip and the only thing that I could read was 8012C but I didn't find anything in the data sheet, uh, archives, but it's clearly that this is the, the central controller. Uh, next is a chip called CD 3314 and this is a four channel stereo sound processor uh, so probably just for modifying bass and treble and so it does nothing important 
And here on the lower side, this is of course the charging circuitry for the lithium ion uh, battery. There is a TP4056 lithium ion charger IC, which is located here. That's the 8 pin uh, IC. Uh, we have a little headphone amplifier, this 8 or 10 pin IC, an LPA. 4809M and finally a mono class AB audio amp the NS4871 which is the same as the LM4871 so uh, that's all to make a complete sophisticated FM DAB DAB, DAB plus receiver with Bluetooth functionality and lithium ion charging capability etc. And that was it for today. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye from Roger. Bye from Kanker Labs.